Uh, welcome once again to our Four Ministries International. I greet thee in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name. Today I have a very comforting word for those, those lost souls um, who think that they were gone forever and doesn't think God concerned about their life or care about them. So I'm taking the word of God today from the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. And it reads, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold, there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord, God, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you, and bring fresh flesh upon you, cover you with skin, and put breath in you and you shall live, then you shall know that I am the Lord. Eternal, most gracious Heavenly Father, I give you thanks, honor, and glory for your word. I pray that every living recipient of this word, God, will pay heed for this time and season and revolutionize their life for the honor and glory of God. This I declare and decree in none other name but the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are living in some very rare and dreadful times. It seems like the world today is soulless, heartless. It seems that the absence of the presence of God are no longer residing in the temples of humanity. Common respect and dignity, understanding that they didn't just create themselves, but someone mightier than them had created them. It was the Lord Jesus Christ our personal savior. And as we look around today, the world is so complicated and complex. There are wars there, confusion there, domestic violence there, traumas all over the world. It seems to me that mankind, for some reason, had lost their way alone as they progress in life. It seems that Mankind lose his purpose in life. That mankind no longer understand the fear of God. Mankind seems not to gravitate towards the Holy Spirit. He becomes meaningless. In other words, the absence and the presence of God, mankind had flee from. Therefore, rendering on to mankind and humanity a standard of dryness where it is no longer gospel or values of the gospel presence in our lives. That is a bad state to be in. That's a deadly state to be in. That's a deadly environment to be in the world becomes a valley of dry bones. And at the time has come where God is preparing and causing a shaking to happen and his prophets to prophesy the living word of Jesus Christ to this valley of dry bones. The time has come when no longer humanity can say they never hear the word of God. God is ministering a word that is potent for this time and season that we will resurrect and rise from our dead state of mind. As God spoke to the prophet Ezekiel and said, prophesy to these dry bones. God said, do you think Ezekiel that these dry bones can live? I come to let you know today that to every lost soul, to every lost man, woman, 
in the body of Christ, every lost person that have never yet heard the word of God. This is your time and season to hear the prophetic word of God speaking to you that you can come to know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, your Lord of Lords and your King of Kings. And God is saying today that you can rise from the dead state of mind that you are in only if you open your hearts. But as God said, Ezekiel, prophesy unto these dry bones. I will prophesy to these dry bones for this time and season. I will prophesy, thus saith the Lord, for the season to every single recipient of his word, to all recipients of this message. This is the time to wake up from whence you sleep. This is the time to get up in the name of Jesus Christ and say enough is enough, for I have been sleeping too long. I have been dead in sin too long. This is the time to hear the word of God because God is saying to you in this time and season that if you can hear my spoken word, I will rise you up in this time and season. I will breathe my spirit into you. I will lay a spiritual muscle on you that you will rise up a mighty army in this time and season and deliver the word of God in earth as it is in heaven. God is saying if you hear my voice and if you hear my call, I will not deny you the power and the authority and the meaning that I want to bestow upon you as a member in the body of Christ. God is saying this is a time and season where you have to say enough is enough. You can no longer live in the dreadful circumstances that you are living and residing in. You can no longer live in fear. You got to build the muscle of God to speak with power and authority to every single dreadful circumstance that prevail in front of your life. God is saying, I want to equip you with power. I want to equip you with faith. I want to equip you with a spirit of discernment. I want to equip you, equip you with a word of prophecy. I want to equip you with a word of deliverance. I want to equip you with a word of dominance. I want to equip you with a word of loosening and a word of binding. I want to bring you to a place in your life where you no longer walk as a victim, but you will walk as a soldier in the body of Christ. Christ said, I will raise you up in this time and season, a mighty army to declare the word of God all four corners of this earth. God is saying to you, don't listen to the false prophets. Don't listen to the false disciples. I want you to hear the spoken word of God from the prophets himself for those who had re he had released a spirit of consciousness to you. A spirit of freedom. A spirit of emancipation to get rid of the chains and bondage that you are in in your life. He wants to raise you out of your dead circumstances. He wants to bring you out of the prostitution house. He wants to bring you out of the drug gangs. He wants to bring you out of the pimp houses. He wants to bring you out of the strip clubs. God is saying, I want to bring you out of the mafia gangs. God is saying, I want to loose you. I want to make you free. I want to make you a representative in the body of the living God. God is calling for some people to turn their back on their sinful nature, turn away from your sinful ways and follow him. God is saying this is the warning time. This is the time to wake up. You are dry, but God said, I am pouring my spirit upon all flesh. I am pouring my spirit upon these dry bones. I am pouring my spirit in your body. I am resurrecting you. I am shaking your door for you to come to your senses to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is calling. And my God said that he knocked on your door. And if you shall open, he will come in and sup with you and you with him. And God said, I will make you a mighty man and a mighty woman of the living God. This is the season, this is the time to rise up. Don't be confounded to the system, the world system. It's keeping you in a dead state of mind. It's keeping you in bondage. Are you denying the power of God because you are built and surrounded by demonic forces by the world system? 
But God is saying today, I am the King of Kings. I am the Lord of Lords. I am the great I am, thus saith the Lord. I am the mighty deliverer. I am the mighty conqueror. And for all those who shall worship me in spirit and truth, I shall be victorious in your life. And you shall be victorious in your life, thus saith the Lord. God is saying, don't fall for the cunning words of the false prophets. Don't fall for the sweet talk, the sugar-coated words you love to hear, the icing on the words. Don't fall for the fancy dress codes. Don't fall for the Hollywood stardom or the fancy lifestyles. God is saying, I want you to fall for my word. I want you to prostrate on your body and you get down and say, Lord Jesus Christ, raise me up a new creation in the body of Christ. God want me on repenting knees for this time and season. God want you to recognize your purpose, your destiny. Your destiny is not lying in a coffin and get buried six feet deep. Your destiny is not going to the crematorium and getting burnt. Your destiny is either hell or either heaven. And this is your choice today to make a decision in which direction you are destined to go in. You can no longer sit back and think, you can life, live life how you want. You can no longer sit back and think that life is just simply living. You go to work, you get kids, you get married, you live a lavish lifestyle, you try to accumulate as much money as you possibly can. You try to do all these things, but yet still, where is your soul? God said, I'm looking for some living souls. I'm looking to resurrect some folks who are dead. Who are dead in sin. Who the presence of God is absent from their temples. Absent from their hearts. Absent from their minds. Their thoughts. God is saying, I want my people to refocus and understand that there is a creator. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, who was, who is to come. My God say that his appearance draw nigh, his return draw nigh. The signs and wonders that he have warned us about are clearly manifested in before our very eyes. God is saying, I want you to understand that life on earth is for a period of time, but life for eternal exists forever. And you can spend eternity in hell or you can spend eternity in heaven. This is your hour of visitation, thus saith the Lord. And there are those false prophets out. Roaring lions seeking who they can devour. You can't tell the true men from the false one anymore. And that's simply because there are many that are true. You see, the path to worshiping God is sacred. It's refined. It's one dimension. It's straight. It's narrow. But all of a sudden you can see the worshiping entertainers, they dance, they dress in all fancy styles. They show up in all fancy vehicles. They got bodyguards. They're so important. People walking with their Hitachi cases, their briefcases. But they call themselves men of God. They are so special. You can't get close to them. You got to pay to see them. 
Hear ye the word of God. The word of God is free. Freely you receive and freely you shall give. Be aware of the false serpents. They are bitter adders looking to who they looking to see who they can sting. But God said, I have a word for you today. And this word is that if you shall focus upon me, if you shall call me by my name, if you shall listen to my word, if you shall humble yourself, if you shall repent, if you shall glorify my name, if you shall exalt my name, if you shall magnify my name, if you shall extort my name, my God said, I will lift you up to a place in a heavenly realm where you become heirs and join heirs to the throne of God, a royal priesthood, a church generation, a peculiar kind of a person. My God is saying in this time and season I will breathe my breath into you. I will outpour my spirit upon you. I will outpour my spirit in you and you shall become a vessel of the living God declaring the word of God in earth as it is in heaven. This hour is your hour to cling to God. This hour is your hour to hold on to his arms. This hour is the hour to repent. This hour is the hour to be baptized, not just of the water, but baptized of the Holy Spirit and baptized of fire to speak the word of God accurately, to speak the word of God distinctively, to speak the word of God with power and authority accuracy and speak the word of God according to the Holy Spirit, give utterance to you. This can only be accomplished when you allowed yourself to be managed by the Holy Spirit. When you give yourself wholeheartedly to the Holy Spirit, He turns your life around. He changes you. You become a new creation in the body of Christ. We have the fair establishment called the church. Some people run it as a family business. It's not the church. The church is nobody's business. The church is the bride of Christ. The church belongs to Christ. The church is Christ. And anyone who come in his name think that they have ownership and are entitled to call themselves the church, they have their place in hell. There is only one king. There's only one Lord of Lords. His name is called Jehovah God, King of Kings. The lily of the valley the bright and morning star, the fairest of 10,000. That's what everyone need to know. Everyone need to know this man called Jesus Christ. Everyone have the right to know what death is like and what life is like. And the only way you can make a difference is when you bury your sinful nature, when you crucify your sinful nature and allow the spur of God to resurrect you from your dead state of mind. Life is worth living, but it's more important that you understand the concept of eternal life. It's vitally important that you understand who Jesus Christ is. You know that song? Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. He's a lily of the valley. He as bright as a morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand. Everybody ought to know. That's right. Every single person ought to know who Jesus Christ is. 
And everybody also ought to know who the devil is. Because if you got an understanding of how dark and dreadful and wasteful is that serpent, and if you understand how glorious, how marvelous, how eternal, how almighty, how all-powerful, hear me everyone in the body of Christ, if you only understand who Jesus Christ is, you will get the knowledge to know that it's wise to put the devil in his place and step up to the glorious call of Jesus Christ and in all thy ways acknowledge him and my God will certainly direct your path. He will bring you out of a dread state of life. A life where it's not worth living for the sinful things of this life, but a life that is worth living for the eternal things in heaven. Your hour, your season, your call. But this is the boarding call. This is the boarding call. Get your boarding pass. The gates of heaven are open. Jesus Christ is calling. Your, your train that destined to heaven is ready to move. Get on board. Hear the board and call of Jesus call. Hear the word of God. It's time and season to pack your bags and put your faith together. Put your imagination together according to the call of God. Hear the word of God. Devote your heart to God. Emancipate yourself from sinful slavery and be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You become a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar kind of a people. You become a mighty warrior for this time and season to declare the word of God. Your hour is quickly approaching and your boarding call had been announced. Your boarding call had been announced. Collect your boarding ticket. Collect your baptism of water, of the spirit, and of fire. Collect your baptismal certificate. That's your burning call. Collect your baptism credentials in the body of Christ. Collect your spiritual thoughts. Collect the call of Jesus Christ. Hear his word, pay heed, pay close attention, and give him all the praise. Don't be a victim. You was dead. But Jesus Christ is always alive. He's the same God that spoke to Lazarus' dead decomposing body and called him out of a tomb. And he walked out simply because the Spirit of God had connected to his spirit which enters back into his dead decomposing body and he was made whole again. It doesn't matter how much dead you were in sin. When you connect to the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God enters you, he purifies your body, he places muscles upon you, you breathe his living breath, you are transformed from death to life, and now you can speak life into dead situations. Here is a prophetic word. You need to connect to the Holy Spirit. Worship him in spirit and in truth. That he can resurrect you from your dead state of mind. That he can resurrect you from your dead state of circumstances. That he can resurrect you from your dead state environment. And bring you to a marvelous place. That you can now exalt him. That you can now magnify him. That you can now glorify him. That you can now worship him. You can now minister his name. You can now call victory. You can 
cannot rejoice. You cannot absorb freedom. You cannot absorb emancipation because whoever the Spirit of God set free is free indeed. This is your hour. This is your season. This is your destiny. Take heed today. Change your life today. And hear the call of God. The burning call had been announced. You need to respond. Heaven or hell, your final destiny. Get your destination straight. Eternal, most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I pray that every living recipient, Lord, of this word would draw from it, gain strength from it. Their lives will be reconditioned through holiness and that they can come to worship you in spirit and in truth as their personal savior. This I declare and decree in that other name, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name, amen.